Question 1A. So we've got Sam and Drew who've received a purchase order from a local hotel which is looking to buy a range of classic vinyl records that customers can use with the record player in the hotel's lounge area. The following financial documents have been used to complete the order. Identify the purpose of each financial document used in this transaction. So we've got four documents down here and we just need to put the purposes. What's the point of them? So there's one mark available for each one of these. Purchase order to let Listen and Groove, the record company, know what records they want to order. So that's the hotel letting them know what they want to order. One mark. The delivery note will come with the box of records to show what's in it. So 10 records, this one, this one, this one, this one, and they'll check it off. We've got a receipt. When the hotel plays, um, pays Listen and Groove, they'll give them a receipt as a proof of payment. And finally, we've got an invoice and the invoice, um, Listen and Groove will send the hotel an invoice to ask for payment. Those are four things, one mark for each. If you didn't get them, you need to revise. They're straightforward definitions.